I was excited to be invited to Words in the Woods. Um, but I had first run into Words in the Woods when Judy Chalmer was on it, who I had worked with at Inclusive Arts Vermont in the past. And it was so lovely. And that was early in the pandemic. So it was a recorded episode. And so it was lovely to get to be in the woods when it was hard to go places and to be with someone in that way and to see the relationship between her poetry, which is pretty strongly place based in a lot of ways and the environment it was read in was really nice. So I'm going to read a short poem next. It's going to take you on a very quick tour of a whole week in a campsite. Daybook. Sunday, September clouds trail the hillsides, misty shoulders and sighs. Monday, pancakes a little burned, gold leaves spend all their luck on scent. And I'm excited to give it a try um, because a lot of my poetry comes from or is in the body and senses, the environment is part of having a body. It's part of how you understand what your body is and where it is. And I use a lot of um, natural and supernatural, but um, imagery and sensations and metaphors in my poetry, especially when exploring non-traditional bodies, there's still sort of a through line to either the natural world as it is or other ideas of what natural could be.